Hello friends and welcome to my channel IB All Designing Developer. So today we are back with another video on this channel of C++ and in this C++ video we are covering up a tutorial using the same language of C++ and this tutorial will be really different from the other tutorials which we have created because in this video I will be telling you that how you can just work with C++ like we have learned about many things using C++ but now in this video we will be learning about arrays and arithmetic operators means not the arithmetic operators you can say arrays and arithmetic arrays we will be learning about different arrays in this video like we have learned about arrays in python but not not in c++ so today in this video i will be telling you about arrays and arithmetic arrays in c++ we will be seeing that how we can use arrays and arithmetic arrays in c++ and what are the things which we can learn in this video so if you understand this video and if you enjoy this video from start so remember to hit a like and if you are new on this channel want to see more videos like that so remember to subscribe and after subscribing hit not notification bell so you can get the notifications of all my coming up videos which i'll be uploading on this channel so now what we are waiting for let's move to computer screen and let's get started with this amazing video of arrays and arithmetic arrays from start so now here we are on the computer screen and like I've told you in the start that today we are just covering up an amazing video of C++ which will be a tutorial video but this will be really different video from the other tutorial videos which we have created yet because in this video I will be telling you about what are arrays and arithmetic pointers or you can say pointer arithmetic in C++ so now let's get started with this amazing video so before starting with that first of all we have to create a starting code of C++ like you all know that in previous videos we have used our main text editor vs code to create all the C++ tutorials and projects as well but now we are using Repelit because you all know that Repelit is an online text editor which provides you all the languages freely and you don't have to download any language you can work it online so that is why I'm just showing you that how you can use Repelit and how you can create your apples like in previous video I've told you how you can create your apples so you can check that out so now here we will be let's getting started with this amazing project which we are creating here now in one I will be now creating a starting code of C++ which will be as include IO stream so you can just see we have written a starting code of C++ which is include IO stream then I will be writing using namespace std after writing that we will be creating a init main function here and in this init main function I will be writing an example of array so I can show you that how you can start with array in C++ so now I will be giving a comment as array example which I am now writing here so in C++ when you want to write comment you have to use slash and then in slash you have to write not only slash double slash you have to write and forward and after that you can write any comment you want to and here I will, I'm writing this values I will be just removing the four from the square bracket and this is the array example which I'm giving you right now in which I've written integer marks and square bracket and with that I've written a value in curly bracket you can give any of the number value you want I have given four number values you can give more as well if you want to or if you can give less as well if you want to do that so now what I'm going to do next is I'm just moving down and I'm creating an again in teacher and in teacher I will be writing an other variable as marks math marks and I will be giving here as four you can give any value you want then after giving this simply what I'm going to do is I'm creating another math marks in value I will be giving as 0 2 2 7 8 then again we will be creating the same thing but now with the value 1 and in which the, I will be giving the value as 738 then secondly I will be giving another value but this will be as 378 and you can just see one thing in this Repelit text editor is that when I'm giving enter it is showing me all the codes automatically I don't have to write the codes and this is the good thing about Repelit is that you don't have to write the codes again and again you can just use tap to get all the codes which is showing you indentation codes you can say that so this is really amazing thing in Repelit and that is why I'm using Repelit text editor because we are on the intermediate level right now and I hope you have understand all the things like all the basic things of C++ so that is why we are using Repelit so we can get all the codes easily and we don't have to write again and again so you can just see we have created an integer of math marks 4 and then we have created again many of the math marks variables in which we have given different values like in 0 we have given the value of 2 to 7 8 then in 1 we have given the value of 738 then in 2 we have given the value of 378 and in the end in 3 we have given the value of 578 you can give different values if you want to but I have given these values after doing that simply I'll be creating a count function here after this math marks 3 and in this count function I will be writing these are math marks so I will be writing these are math marks like this and then here I will be ending this function by writing this and l like you all know that if you want to end any count function we will be using and l in the end like we have used in math marks as well here in the count 
Now in count one, I will be doing same thing, math marks one and end L, then in marks two as well, in the end marks three as well. Now I will be doing one thing is that I will be just moving down and I will be writing here, you can change the value of an array. So in comment I've written, you can change the value of an array because I am, I want to tell you that if you want to change the value of array, you can directly change it. You don't have to worry about the output which we are getting. It's only the comment which I've given you that if you want to change the value to check what output we are getting, you can change that. It's nothing to be worried about that you will be getting a different output. So I will be just moving down and I will be creating marks to here. So I will be now writing marks to and in marks to I will be creating a value as equal to 455. So you can just see that. Now here we will be creating a count value again and in this count value I'll be writing these are marks and we will be ending this function because now we know that these are the marks value which we are writing here. So we don't have to make this function more long so we'll be ending this function directly by using the end like we have used at the top in math marks. So I will be just moving down here and after moving down I will be using math mark zero not the math marks only marks because math marks we have used at the top then here as well the same thing i'll be using and now here as well and then in the end we'll be using in three as well to end this function after doing that simply what i'm going to do next is i'm creating a for statement here and in this for statement i will be creating an integer i so you can just see we have created an integer which is given the name as i and i is also considered as integer then i will be giving zero i comma 4 then I will be giving this close tag and with that I will be giving this i plus plus which means that integer will be adding the value here then I will be just moving down and after moving down I will be doing next is I am just creating another curly bracket here and in this curly bracket I will be adding the things like I will be adding the count and in this count value I will be writing the value of marks so in marks value I will be just giving the value of like you can give any value you want to like this I will be giving the value like I then this greater and less than sign is is and then less than sign with marks I and then I will be creating another less than sign to end this function by using the end L so we have ended this successfully I'll be closing this and now what I'm going to do next is I will be just creating this is with here with, and it is totally right I think yes it is so what I'm going to do next is I am just going down after this curly bracket and I will be creating a comment here in which I will be writing quick quiz and in this comment I will be writing do the same using while loop means it is a quick quiz that you have to do the same thing which you have do at the top you have to do it same with the while loop so I will be just moving down and I will be now just I will be giving question mark here that you can do that or not then I will be using pointers and arrays and now here in pointers and arrays I will be using integer multiply by p equal to marks then I will be using count with the same tag but we will be using p plus plus and then we will be ending the function here as well but in the start I will be using plus plus and in the end I'll be using the p by ending this function then you have to do the same thing like I'll be moving down and after moving down I will be just using the value of p is then you have to use the value of p but we will be adding with one and here we will be adding the value with two then in the end we will be adding the value with 3 because we have created math marks 3 times and that is why we are adding the value 3 times here. Then I will be writing return 0 to return the value which we will be getting here in the output. Now what I am going to do next is I will be saving this file and I will be running this code in my console to check what output we are getting. So I will be now just closing AI and I will be running it. You can press control enter as well so you can just see we are getting these are math marks like we have written here simply and then we will we are getting the marks of 2278 then we are getting 378 578 and then again we are getting these are marks and in this marks we have written 23 you can just see and then 45 455 89 why we are getting this value because we are adding this value with p plus 1 and in the p value we have written these values and that is why we are getting the different values here like 23 which we have written 45 we have written then 455 we are getting because we are adding this number with the p plus value and then we are getting 89 which is the same value which we have written in init marks means in teacher marks then we are getting the value of mark 0 is 23 you can just see then the value of mark 1 is 45 then the value of mark 2 is 455 and the value we are getting 455 is because we are adding it with integer then 
in the end we are getting the value of mark 3 which is 89 then 23 455 normally we are getting and after that we are getting the value of multiply by p is 455 means we are multiplying this 67 value with the p value and in the p value if i show you we have written this number you can just see this p plus 1 so that is why we are getting the 455 and then the value of multiply by p plus 1 is 89 the value of multiply by p plus 2 is 140856 which is the decimal value which we are getting and same we are getting in multiply by p plus 3 as well so i hope you understand that how we have worked with arrays and pointer arithmetic in c plus plus and i hope you enjoy this video from a start in which we have covered up these things so if you have understand this video and if you enjoy this tutorial videos remember to hit a like and if you're new on this channel want to see more videos like that so remember to subscribe and after subscribing hit notification bell so you can see all my coming up videos which i'll be uploading on this channel and you can get the notifications of that videos as well so now what we are waiting for i will be meeting you next project with more amazing things and more amazing tutorials support today good bye